this is not the end. Uh, it is not even the beginning of the end. Uh, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. Easy. Got a lift across the Tavion in a friend's helicopter. Looks like that's the rest of the bandit group that was shooting at down there. Wisely, they've decided to head out of these woods because I had flanked all the way around them. And it's lucky they've gone across there because in woods like this, you can take out three people before they even know where the shots have come from. Uh, but, as I said, I got a lift across the Taviana with a friend after we managed to cure Jack, although Jack has been acting a little bit weird recently. The friend who brought me across kidding me up with this gear, and almost immediately after leaving him, I ran into this group of bandits who shot out the driver of what looked like a land boat. It looked like it was in perfect condition as well, so I'm going to see if I can, if I can find it. Uh, since those guys have... I think they were trying to take it, but then I scared them off. There she blows. <laughs> that is the most interesting survivor put together built boat I think I've ever seen. They'd probably park it up here in the woods. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out. Wheel Titanic! <laughs> oh, they've refueled it. They were repairing it in here. I think they might have damaged it when they were shooting the guy out. Oh, that's awesome! Can I get out? Here we go. I think this thing could mow down trees though, but I don't want to make a hole in the hole. Because this should be able to go in water as well, I've heard. But uh, I guess we'll we'll see. I'm just going to check the loot on these guys here. These were the guys I killed in the field. I'll have to check them quite quickly though, because I'm not exactly incognito at the moment in this thing. And uh, you're not very well protected in the cockpit. Nine morphines! This guy really is a medic. He was a bandit medic, though, I suppose. Unless this was the guy who he'd shot. I don't know. He looked like a he looked like a hero, the guy who'd got shot out. This will be the guy. Ah, uh, his friends have already taken most of his loot. Gonna get out of here now quite quickly, because... I don't want those guys to come back and shoot out a tire on this thing, because... I don't know what kind of tires it even takes. They look absolutely huge. When we flew into Taviana, and I got dropped off here... We flew in from the north over what looked like at the edge of this field with these this wind farm in. Two small settlements. So, since it's the middle of the night and they're probably asleep, I'm going to see if I can uh, see what's down here. I think my boat's perfectly safe there. If anybody sees it, they're going to think they're hallucinating. But, uh, looks like it's just, yeah, it's just down there. Well, that's a properly built up one. That looks like Bandit House nearest and the hero house at the back. Oh, there's the other settlement right down on that far side there. It's down there. Spread out from the other. And there, that's a hero and a bandit building across there. It's quite interesting that the heroes and bandits are working together. But I really like this Mark 12 because uh, you can you can uh, use night vision with it. It's basically got exactly the same scope on as a DMR, so all your ranging is exactly the same. I'm going to head down there in the boat now. Look at me, voyaging the farmer's field. Nobody will ever see me coming. <laughs> I hope these guys aren't here. You can actually sleep in the houses, I've heard, and you can sleep to get health back as well, which is two really cool things. What the heck is that? Looked like there was a buggy there, but what was that? Looked like there's like a little, a little peasant's shelter. Yeah, I love the light on this thing. It lights everything up so well. Ah, the wheels. People tend to shoot out the wheels before they go to, before they go to sleep in the server. Eighty-four rugs. 
However, I've heard that you can get rocks from only the mines, and you need a pickaxe, which are in industrial buildings. Let's see if these guys have got any any spare gear I can borrow. Ooh, two cement mixers. Now, you need cement mixers, I think, to actually lay the foundations of your house. And I'm not actually kidding here. I think that's actually what you do need. I'm going to borrow one of theirs here. And then I should be good to go, I think. As soon as I found a pickaxe and some other bits. Gotta watch out, because they could just come out of these houses at any time. And I think you can shoot out the windows as well at people. So it looks like these... It's like they're just storage things. And I'm sure it said in the other one that you could go to sleep. What else is around here? That's a hero shed. This great house! <laughs> a great house was built by him. I love that a bandit's just built his house right next to the hero house. Maybe they're working together. But this, uh, these guys will definitely be back at some point because there's some serious gear in these. Do not want to dawdle here. I'm going to get back in the, uh, the boat after I've checked these and then see if there's anything at the very far settlement. Wasn't very much in the other settlement. They must have put everything inside the houses. So I've marked on the map about three and a half kilometers away. A pretty big industrial seaport and we're going to voyage across there. If we float! Uh, oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I can't believe this actually flows. This is the first time I've actually been in the water with this. Wow, this is actually quite cool. It's going to take me a while to get across there, so... Put this on autopilot and let's get going. Spider boat, spider boat, does whatever a spider boat does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a boat. Look out! He is a spider boat. And we're stuck. No! <laughs> we're actually stuck. Come on, spider boat. <laughs> you... You can do it. We are stuck. Damn it! I wanted to build a, a house on an island. Oh no, we've made it! Good spider boat! Oh dear! We're a little bit front heavy. Well, I've found myself some industrial buildings. Need to get myself a pickaxe, because I've got a cement mixer already. Some cement, which would be very useful. Uh, some reinforcing material as well, I think. And then I have to get some rocks and some wood piles myself from other places. It's got a Russian symbol on the side. Spider boats. Only in Russia. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be anything decent in here, but I'm going to have a look around, because it's probably... Is that cement? Oh no, it's sandbags. I don't even know why they put sandbags in this game, because I don't think I've ever seen anybody build a wall with them. I'm going to have a look around, see if I can, I can find anything. Hopefully, spider Boat's going to be alright on his own across there. spider Boat! Somebody's stealing spider Boat from me! What the hell? Oh, there is actually a guy in there! He's got a hero skin on, but I'm gonna... Oh, you can't shoot through there. Okay, that one hit him. Damn, if this was a DMR, that would have knocked him out. It certainly does stun a bullet damage. I'm gonna have to head down and see if I can get Spider Boat back, because I'm gonna be pretty stuck if I don't have a vehicle to collect all these rocks and stuff from. This is the way out. I cannot believe somebody just went and stole that. What's that? I wasn't there when I came down. Maybe Spider Boat ran over somebody. Or maybe he ran over. Hmm. Somebody died recently there. That means there might be more players around here. Oh. Looks like we've got Axel Rose after us. With his M4. No night vision goggles though. I'll speak to him. Hey, buddy. Are you friendly? I am. If you got any friends trying to sneak up on me? And see you peeking there. Yeah, I saw you. You need to type to me or speak to me within the next three or four seconds, dude, or I'm going to have to treat you as hostile. Please don't try and peek me either, dude, because I will kill you. Wow.
you see, I just don't get people like this guy. Watch out in case he's got any friends trying to flank around. I don't get people who don't just respond when you, you speak to them. He can definitely hear me. I guarantee you he could he can hear me at that point. Voice is on in this server, but if you don't respond, I you know, it's your own fault that you get yourself killed. It's a lot easier just to talk to somebody and they can probably help you out. But I need to be really careful here. I'm gonna try and counter flank any sort of flank is anybody else around because I know there's at least one guy in the boat there was one guy there and I think he ran over one of his friends or somebody else which was the gravestone on that corner uh, which might have been their whole squad they might have accidentally killed that guy might have accidentally run him over in the boat but let's see what's around on this side and then So that's a gravestone down there. Can't see anybody. Oh, it's a player! Okay. Wow, those ghillie suits are so well camouflaged. I don't know how you get them in this. I haven't seen them in any of the industrial buildings or the residential ones. see anybody else on that corner. I'm just going to head into the forest here a little bit because they're probably still expecting shots from that side. I think that guy had night vision on though. I don't see anybody else. Yeah, he was right. He must have been looting his friend's gear or that might have been somebody else there, I guess. Doesn't seem like there's anybody around. I can probably go down and get some gear now. Question is though, where's my boat gone? If these guys are all together, it's probably not too far away. I guess, but... Oh! There's a head! <laughs> that is insanely well covered! A little bit high, because the zero ends 400 on this. Yeah, he's dead. That hit him in the head. Wow. That guy was a bandit. You can tell the difference between bandits and and uh, heroes because when you get to level 3 hero you've got a full ghillie suit on if you get to level 3 bandit you have just a top half ghillie suit on that's kind of the advantage of becoming a hero you get the full ghillie suit I'm going to go around and uh, just uh, check from the top of the industrial buildings everybody's gone I've just seen the boat disappear over the top of this hill by the industrial building it looked like it was coming back into the shore there we go it is which means that this guy must have been working with the other guys or he would have he would have headed off completely. Well, this guy's a hero. He's got the same outfit as I've got on. Oh, there he is. I don't know why he didn't drive that up back onto the land. It was only completely fueled. <laughs> oh dear. Looks like he's gonna try and head back round to get his friend's gear. He strikes me as being a little bit clueless, this guy. He's pretty clueless, this guy. He's uh, started prone crawling. He's way back to the town. Look at him go. Not only is this going to take him absolutely ages, but of course the grass disappears for everybody about 80 meters away from them, so there is no point in doing this. It just makes you a really easy target, but I can't, I can't kill a guy like this. I mean, his friends were clear bandits um, who were waiting for me, but... I can't kill this guy. Just flanked around to where I thought he was, but I don't see him anymore. He actually is incognito now if he's prone in the grass. Because <laughs> I'm close enough for it to make a difference. I wonder where he went. Oh, there he is! Look at him go! Now, this guy is in a hero outfit, so. I really don't want to kill him if I don't have to. Hey buddy, can you hear me? I know you can. I'm over here on your right. That's right, over here. I'm behind this tree, dude. You're really exposed there. I need you to crouch and drop your gun. 
You are incredibly exposed, dude. I could just shoot you right now if I wanted to. So I am friendly. I know I killed your friends, but they were kind of waiting for me. And you did steal my boat. Um, but if you just crouch, press gear, click on your gun, click drop, then you can go get all of the gear back off your friends. I don't want any of it, but I need you to drop your gun so I can get back to my boat. Because you could just shoot me whilst I'm driving off. So just crouch and do that, dude. You've only got an MP5. There's no way you'll win this. I'm going to give you three seconds to crouch or type back to me. Three. Two. One. Damn. What a pity. In fact, if you're new to this game, um, you watch these daisy videos and you've just got it, if anybody talks to you, 99% of the time they're friendly. Uh, because if they wanted to kill you, they'd just use the element of surprise to kill you. But uh, if you torch somebody, you put yourself at a disadvantage because you give away your position. And this guy could have saved his life there by just saying, just, well, pretty much anything to me. Because he had no chance in that situation, and sometimes you don't. I, uh, I'm probably going to give him this blueprint, actually, because I did feel a bit bad there about killing him. But I can't wait for him to mess about all day. So now, he's got a 4 kilometer run, but at least he's got some blueprints for the garage that are in that industrial building there, so... Maybe that'll help him out if he figures out how to build one. So I'm going to get in the boat now and head across to one of the mines, which I think is in... I think it's a little bit further south of here, because I'm still on the, uh, the western island of Taviana. Unfortunately, Spider Boat, aka Wheeled Titanic, has, as the Titanic would, crashed into not an iceberg, but a rock. My pro driving again. So I've just come down to this industrial area in the same town I was in where I took out that other group of bandits to see if I can find a wheel for it. Ooh. This guy running down there towards it. Oh, there's a player at that APC. He's in a bandit skin. Maybe he's not going to shoot. Oh, he is going to shoot him. He's got night vision on. Okay. I could have sworn that first bullet hit him in the head there. But he must be on about half blood because two of those hit him. I'm not having that where people just shoot. That guy had nothing. He didn't even have a pistol, that hero guy. Although, I didn't kill him and I may have stirred up something of a hornet's nest here. I'm a considerable distance away, but if there's an APC, that usually means there's a group of players looking for house loot, especially in a big industrial area like this. And there's two other dead guys down there. Which could be a problem, to be honest. I feel very susceptible to getting flanked on the left here. Like, there's virtually no chance they're going to come on that right, but... I really don't want to get flanked, so I might back off a little bit here and get into a better position. Now you see from here, and this game is all about being in the right position, there is zero chance I can get shot from behind. Because there's a, there's a really covered route for them behind these containers up to where I am now. And if I were there, then they could quite easily get behind me. It's been quite a while now, so maybe they're not... Oh, there! Speak of the devil. Hello, bandit guy. Hello. Oh, you heard me, didn't you? <laughs> hey, man. Are you friendly? Can you hear me? I'm sure you can. Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Yes, I am. Soundboard? Is it a soundboard? No, it's not a soundboard. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> I'm just shooting this zombie. I was just shooting the zombie then. Uh, unfortunately, I killed your friend because he shot somebody who was just running unarmed. I can see you've got an M24 there. I can see you've got an M24 there. You got any more guys down there, or is it just you and that other guy? Uh, yeah, there's two other guys. Are you friendly? Because you look like you're a hero. Or a normal skin. Oh, okay. No, it's alright, dude. I'll trust you. 
<laughs> I'll come round and meet your other friends, see if they shoot me. I'll run round on this side of the wall, dude. Alright. You lead me down to your fr Oh yeah, you do. Sweet, okay. I was going to say you could just go down in front of me. Alright, let's go. You t you lead. You go to your... You lead me to your friends. I won't shoot them. Oh, okay. You, you going to shoot them? Or no, no, I'm not going to shoot them, dude. <laughs> when do I shoot people unless they shoot at me? Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Go up. Oh, you've got two guys. Yeah. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello, Frankie. How's it going? That is one eager zombie. He's hitting you with his arm. <laughs> who did I shoot? I shot one of you. Sorry about that, but you, you shot somebody who was unarmed. I don't think you died, did he? Did he die? Uh, no. That oh. was me, but... Uh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I was down there and there was some guy who's just running completely oblivious along here. I don't think he'd seen you. Oh, well, this is cool. <laughs> Have you guys built any houses, then? The dude. Mini dude. Uh, yeah, we got the... the oh, micro dude! I found your house! Your house is in that um, field above the racetrack, isn't it? All the way across yeah, on the yeah, far yeah, side. Yeah, I found that a while ago. Because we were having a race on the racetrack. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Oh, and the dude as well. Because there's two little settlements there, isn't there? Like... Right next to each yeah, other. Uh, yeah. Was there a player down here? Did you say? Is this your friend just covering on the uh, corner? Yeah, yeah, we think so. Oh shit! Oh, he's behind oh, me. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, bad mistake. Did you kill him? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Where was he at? Oh, he's gone. What the fuck? I thought I could have damaged me. Whoa, there's a... No! What the fuck? I think he's got in the v... I think he's got in the vehicle. Is anybody alive? It's, that's me! Don't shoot! Oh fuck, sorry! Sorry! It's okay dude, I'll come back and get my I gear. <laughs> Wow. This is one of the biggest bandit settlements I think I've ever seen. Got a couple of level two bandit houses up there. The really cool triangular ones. Several level ones. This is probably a clan of seven, eight guys here. Looks like they've got a uh, couple of garages as well. For vehicles in. Well, I was just on my way, I picked up my gear, and the guys I met there, those friendly bandits, said that there was a house I could sleep at further, about a thousand meters away from here that I need to get down to. And that I could spend the rest of the night there, but... This place is quite spooky at night. Look at that, it's even got heads on the... They've even put zombie heads on the poles outside. Oh, this torchlight through the windows doesn't wake them up. Look how the zombies have still got glowing eyes. It's not like I can get in there. Don't overstay my welcome, so... I'm gonna head out of here before I get detected and go and stay at that guy's house for the rest of the night.
Wow, that was an abrupt awakening. Turns out by house, he actually meant wooden, cold-ass shed where the rain leaks on you. But I manned it out. Just going to tell him I'm going. Hey, man. He went there. He's probably still asleep. He's a heavy drinker. He said I could use this APC. He's brought it up out of the forest for me because he's got another one hidden away there since he hasn't built a garage yet. And this thing is actually pretty good. I actually call it the turtle. This APC. Not only because it is incredibly well armoured and you literally can't shoot out the wheels or anything on it. But because if you sit in the back, there is no way grenades or otherwise or anything that can kill you. So you can literally just sit in the back and nothing can be done. It's even better than the golf. Well, that's a welcome and pretty rare sight, to be honest. Three military transports from Sector B. Looking out, looking out for survivors. Fortunately, I don't need a pickup for them. I'm, I'm in my, my armored turtle. But I might follow them, see where they're going. Since they're going, they're going down towards the island where Jack and I went stayed. And I might, I just want to check that out, see what it, see if it's still there. I'd imagine it probably is still there. And I might head across to Sector B, in fact, in the next episode to, to try and get some rare building plans which are supposedly there, so I might see those helicopters again. From what I remember, the lake and island were through these trees on the right-hand side. You probably you probably remember this place if you watched any of the previous episodes. Uh, oh. well, there were two guys down there. I'm just going to pull up here because it looked like they were stalking me. They'd have heard me from a long way off. And here's a really good tip with this vehicle. It is nearly impossible to explode the turtle from small arms fire, which is or rifles, which is what these guys will have. So just stick behind it and you've got literally the best cover. Like whichever direction they come to me from. Because they I would imagine they're probably gonna flank down the slope, because that's where I would go around to me. But there's absolutely no way they're gonna have better cover behind these trees than I've got here. As I expected, they have flanked down the lower slope. And whoa, there's one just down here. This guy, this guy isn't a hero or a bandit. This is a default kit that you get. But there was a bandit in a half ghillie, so it looks like the bandit is training this guy. So if they don't respond to me, I'm going to have to treat these two guys as pretty hostile. He was around here somewhere. Hey guys, little ghillie in the bush. And the guy who's trying to flank me on the left. I can see you peeking. You got a choice here. I know you want this APC. But is it worth your lives? I don't think it probably is, is it? So uh, if you don't want to lose all your gear... Okay, fuck this. Okay, because you fired at me, I killed your friend. Probably wasn't wise sending him round to fly me when he didn't have a clue what he was doing. But if you fire at me again, I will kill you as well. So you've got a choice. You can either drop your gear right now and we can become best of friends. Or you can run away from here and leave me alone. Okay, well I guess I know what your answer is now. Well, I have to say that was a pretty unwise decision because to actually get away from here now you've got to leave your cover. And as soon as you do, I'm going to kill you. But, uh, I guess we can just have this little Mexican standoff till one of us gets bored and you poke your head out and then I shoot you in it. But you see, this is why you shouldn't shoot at people straight away, because I'm actually a really friendly guy. If you'd, uh, left me alone, then you could have survived. I might have even given you some gear, who knows. But there you are. Ah, oh, that hurt, didn't it? That was even more. Oh, you got a broken leg. Well, your name was Motherfucker, so I have no sympathy for you whatsoever. And I know you can still hear me in the death cam, but just think how stupid that was. Maybe you should play more friendly next time. I don't give a rat's ass if you're a level 3 bandit. You're still going to die if you try and hold up the wrong person. Just brought the turtle down into the forest. It's getting pretty, pretty rusty, to be honest, but still bulletproof. You can actually upgrade parts of it. If you find reinforcing material, which I haven't got any of yet, you have to search industrial buildings for it. You can reinforce and build on like that that shovel thing that's on the front. But that was already built on, so I, I don't know how it works quite yet. But I think you just scroll your mouse and do it. But this is the beautiful spot. My hero getaway. Down here. 
this awesome little lake in the middle of in the middle of all of this zombie apocalypse. No zombies on there. You can just put your boat up on there and do a bit of fishing or something. So, I'm back in my APC and I'm heading across to the mine now. I'm going to try and build my first house on the beach and then uh, find some even cooler spots for the next houses. But to start off with, I've got to get some rocks for it. And uh, I think this is the mine road from what I remember. Just up here. Now this is the only place that you can get rocks from and you have to use a pickaxe for it. In fact, I think there's another mine on the eastern island as well, which is a... That's the island which is a lot bigger than Taviana. Uh, I think there's a mine on there, but of course I'm on the west island at the moment, so... I'm just going to go to this one. I hope there's nobody up here, or if they are, they're friendly. This looks like the mining building's right up here. And you've basically got to get, for the first level, the foundations, you've got to get 15 rocks, so you've got to do... You've got to dig out 15 rocks. I think you've got to go down towards those rocks at the far back, actually. You got to get 15 rugs, uh, 25, I believe, wood piles, um, two cement, and two reinforcing materials. And I've got the cement, and I don't have the reinforcing materials yet. So I'll have to. I think I'm, I just need to search some industrial buildings for that. I believe you can get them from anywhere here. I saw you could get them out of these. So you just right-click your your pickaxe and. Yeah, so I've got one rocks there, and I need to do that 15 more times, so I'll see you in 20 minutes. So I've got the rocks now, and I've cut some wood piles from trees, which took me like 30 minutes to get 25. And that sounds like a car. There's a lorry on the far side there. Now I heard you can get reinforcing material and stuff from this power plant which is quite far south on the uh, the western island. Yeah, that's a strange looking vehicle. Looks like an ice cream truck or something. But I heard that you can get in here somewhere and then get reinforcing material from here. Oh. Looks like somebody else is gearing up here. The guy's got a G36. He's a bandit. It's a bandit skin right there. It looks like he's filling up the helicopter. Could take him out here. The bullet will, of course, go through a, a, a little wire fence. But I don't really want to kill him unless I have to. I mean, even bandits. And you do get points as a hero for killing bandits, but... Since they've probably spent quite a while gearing up, I really don't want to just shoot them for no reason. Although they have got a working helicopter, it seems. There must have been a guy in that as well. They haven't seen me down here. But they've probably taken quite a lot of the gear from here, and... Hopefully there'll be some left. Enough somewhere. I should be able to get in there. I might need to go back and bring my APC down and make a hole through that fence because it doesn't seem that there's much of an entrance around here. Well, there must be a fuel pump further down the road because the helicopter's landed just down. Oh! Somebody just got killed. Those shots were from down there. And it was the G36C, G36 that I heard. Yeah, more shots. Sounds like somebody's got a PKP up here as well. Yeah. I think what happened is the helicopter's flown over with virtually no fuel in it from the power plant, landed in there, and there are actually guys already in there, so there must be a fuel tank and stuff in there. But I'm, I'm just going to get back. Might be worth me checking the house. I've virtually got no fuel as well when those guys have gone. But I'm going to get back before it gets dark and try and make a hole through that fence. Look at that. Straight through. Who wants to run around when you can just do that? Another thing I really like to do is always make sure you've got your vehicle pointing towards the way that you're going to get out. 
and it's always worth as well knowing which side of the vehicle you get out of. So in the driver's side you always get out the left hand side of the vehicle and if you're in the back of the turtle you always get out of the back. So if you ever get surrounded or anything you know which side you're going to get out of and which side you need to pull up with. Uh, so it's quite useful to know that. Left my night vision goggles in the car unfortunately. I've checked out the entirety of this place as well as an industrial place further down as well. So I'm going to get the hell out of here. There's a lot of these, these walkers around. So tonight, because I don't really want to be building my house in the dark, I'm going to build a camp, a quick camp in this woods, because I found in an old car what looked like a storage box uh, and some sort of some sort of wooden tent. So I'm figuring I might be able to build up a one of those tents that I slept in before, hopefully, somewhere down in these woods here. Oh crap, that helicopter's coming back and my lights are on. Okay. Can you guys hear that? I left my night vision in the car as well. Man, I don't like being in these woods. This is very spooky when you haven't got any lights or anything on. Couldn't hear the helicopter anymore, so turn on the lights and I've just built myself this camping tent. Uh, this is the new one that you can actually sleep in to get some of your health back and all you need is a wood pile which you chop from trees with a hatchet and the tent in your inventory and I believe you find them in farmhouses and residential buildings as well and then you can just go in and, uh, and, and sleep in them and get some of your health back without having to have cooked meat or somebody blood bag you. Just uh, gonna build myself a campfire and then in the morning I'm going to uh, try and build my house on the beach. I decided to go up to that helicopter base. The... The fuck? <laughs> He's looking at me. Okay. I'm being kidnapped. What the... <laughs> I don't actually know this guy! He's a hero, he's in a full ghillie suit, but... I'm still in the back. He's kidnapped me! Oh. Well, I was gonna say... That, uh, I'd gone to go and get some fuel, which I had just done, but there was a, um, A truck with a machine gun on. I was waiting for those zombies to, to get bored and wander off so I could go across and check it out. But, uh... Well... Now we have problems. Oh dear, there's people down there. Well, maybe he's taking me to his friends. He is a hero, this guy, so maybe they've got some... Because I need some blueprints still. But, oh, they're not friendly. They're going to shoot you. I wasn't talking in chat. Sorry, Alex. I tried to warn you. Now, you may think I'm pretty screwed here. But actually, they don't know I'm in the back, and they can't see into the back unless they actually get in the vehicle. And then, of course, I can basically take them for a ride as well. I can kidnap them, perhaps. But uh, this looks like one of those situations I'm just going to have to wait out. Because at the moment, as you can see, they are fairly well organized, and they're going to come up here in a second once they're sure that there's nobody else in the vehicle or they think there's nobody else in the vehicle because the guy on the left as you can see is definitely looking at the driver's seat ready to snipe it as his friend and the other vehicle come down but these guys are bandits uh, you can actually see well you could have done until Alex disappeared there if they if the player doesn't have camouflage on their legs like this guy doesn't that's a bandit. These two guys are both level 3 bandits, so, you know, definitely want to kill these guys. And it looks like the guy further up is a level 2 bandit. So, extremely hostile, these guys. Now, I just want them to uh, to lower their guard, because if I get out, there's a, there's a massive lag between when you can actually get out and shoot, so they'd just kill me straight away. He's actually stood in front. He's not very smart, this guy. Let's just see. Let's go. <laughs> Get 
killed him. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is the dumbest bandit I have ever seen. Honestly. Now it's also occurred to me that I'm not going to get much sleep this night, but also that I don't have any blueprints because to build a level 1 hero house you need level 1 blueprints. Now I don't know where to find these, but I had heard about the Snow Mountain Heroes Camp, which I've headed up to now. And I think this is these guys. So I'm going to see if there's anybody here, and I don't know anybody here. Um, so they might shoot me. I'm going to get in the back as quickly as possible. And hopefully if there's anybody here, then they might be able to have some blueprints for me, because these are all heroes here. This is a this is a hero camp on, on Snow Mountain. So, I hope there's one there. Hello! Hello there! Are you a hero? Dude, leave immediately. Hello! Do you have any spare blueprints? Level 1 blueprints? I heard there was a big hero camp up here. Right. Can you hear me? What do you want? Have you got any level 1 hero blueprints? Get in the vehicle if you want. I need some uh, level one hero blueprints. Have you got any? Yeah. Can I... Oh, you actually do. What? You actually do have some. Well, my my friend yeah. said there was a big hero camp up here. Oh, that's awesome, dude. If you if you can yeah. give me some, because I want to build my first house. Yeah, no problem, dude. No problem. Awesome. Yeah, dude, come over here. Let's get him. It's okay, I'm coming round now. My gun's lowered. I don't know where you went. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey. Go back out. Uh, yeah, I have. Go back out. Uh, yep. Oh, sweet. Right, only had one, I think. That's good. You gave me a garage one as well. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. I did not expect you to actually give it me when my friend said, come up here. Dude, you're Frankie, aren't you? <laughs> Perhaps. Jesus <laughs> Christ. My friend said there was a huge camp up I here. Knew. But, that is awesome. Yeah, uh, oh, and you've got the proper hero. You've got the same face as well. Oh, no, you don't. You've got the older guy. Yeah, it's level two. I yeah, think I'm a level one. one you, mate. <laughs> I think I'm a level one. Are you? Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, there were there were those you know those KSI bandit clan. I ran one of them over on the bridge, and then I thought since I was coming up here, <laughs> uh, I got I got to. Uh, be killing. Dude, you'll see this in the video. Lately. You'll see the bit before as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely, dude. They're total bandits, though those guys. Oh wow, you've got loads. Can I borrow one of your DMRs then? If I drop this off, then you can have this. Yeah, dude, take it, mate, take it. Oh, you got the balanced um, neck off, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It hasn't got any ammo. It hasn't got any ammo left, though. Um. Oh, I don't want all this DMR ammo. I just ate two mags. I drove all this way up here. I thought yeah, somebody's just gonna my... shoot me. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's yeah, awesome. I was talking to my, to my friend on Teamspeak. I was like, he's coming up to the base. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh. It's... I can't believe it. <laughs> I've never been in one of these houses either. I heard there was. I heard people can glitch into them though if the level ones. Oh, that's it. Is this a? This yeah, is level one. Yeah, you can close the doors. You have to back out. 
There's a player down there. How far is it? Yeah, because it is cool up here, but... 700. 700. Oh, he's shooting. Which house is he by? Is he actually shooting at us? Yes, well, where the player is. I'll tell you what, shall I drive across in that tank thing and go make friends with him? Because he can't shoot me if I switch to the back seat. I'll drive across in the APC thing. Alright, go ahead then. Go ahead. I'll try and give you cover. Okay. This guy has to have support you. He's... Hey there, bandit with the Lee Enfield. I'm Kit, the talking car. Come on, get in, Knight Rider. There we go. Wait a second. Oh, crap, I've been kidnapped twice now. How did I not think that he was going to do this as soon as he got in? I'm talking to Chad as well, so he can hear me being an idiot. Probably not over the noise of this engine. Kit's having a meltdown. There we go, Kit's being quiet now. <laughs> I don't know what this guy actually thought, because I bet he doesn't know that I'm still in the bag. I think he's exploring. This might be his first ever car. Oh dear. Looks like our adventure's going to be cut short. Seems like the server might have disconnected. Yep. So I rejoined after the server restart, and uh, I'm just headed back now to the beach where I'm going to wait for the night and then build my house in the morning, I think. Because, uh, this should... Ooh. Oh, sounds like there's a lot of people shooting at me. You know what? Fuck it. So I got four or five guys down there. Guy down. <laughs> this is the point they realize they bit off more than they could chew. <laughs> Good luck with that. Just knocked him out, he only had a torch. Have you not been entertained? Is this not what you wanted? <laughs> I can't believe these guys. What an amateur bandit clan. Oh, he's still alive. Free respawn for you. And that would be why, once again, you don't shoot unprovoked at everybody you see in this game. It's not a team deathmatch. I don't know where this guy with the torch went, I knocked out, because that guy down there isn't him. Oh, he's there on the road. Hey, buddy, you're on the road. Can you hear me? I'm over here on your left. Lights on the car. Hello. How's it going? Just keep your torch out where I can see it. I'm just coming over now, dude. You haven't got night vision on, have you? No. Oh, you're new spawn? Were those guys after you? Or were you with them? Because I may have killed them all. Maybe they were after you then. Oh, you don't know them? Okay. Well, they're dead now, so you can get some gear off them if you want. Alright, cool. Well, I'll show you where they are. Because it might be quite difficult to find them if you haven't got night vision on. Uh, I think there was a couple across there. The next city? Um, 
Well, we're sort of in between two at the moment. We can either go north to one or south to one. Um, yeah, so either direction there's a city. But let's go across here. You come with me and then I'll get you some gear off one of these guys I killed. Yeah, you just have to press L with the torch and that'll turn it on. You can't see anything, can you? Hang on. How about that? <laughs> I'll throw another one for you. Yeah, these are flares. I'll give you some when you manage to pick up a backpack of one of these guys. Oh, incredibly bright with night vision on. Just follow me down here, and then I'll. Uh, there's there's a there's a body down here. I'll keep the magazine. Is here. I'll take the magazine now, and then uh, you can just pick up the gun, and I'll give you the magazine back at the end, so that you got something to shoot with. Yeah, I'll drop you off at this city up here. All right, and uh, I'll try and find you a vehicle if there is one, because there's a parking lot in this city where there might be some cars, but sometimes you can't repair them. But it's, it's a good job you found me, because uh, the city is absolutely full of zombies at night time, and I don't think you'd have survived. Well, hopefully we won't run into any trouble up here. Yeah, this is the train station. Sometimes they have bikes in here. Um, what are the zombies doing? There's M1911 on the floor there if you want it. In fact, there's two. Sometimes there's just bikes. Oh, there's one here, dude. Which is pretty lucky since those ones at the those cars didn't work. I'll bring it out for you. Oh, it's going very slowly on this. There you go. Put it out for you. You can just get on that. And that backpack I gave you, it's got ammo in it. So if you want to have some ammo for your gun, and that's a really good silence gun for taking out zombies, but just watch out for other players when I leave you. That's alright, man. I'll see you in a bit. I shouldn't say that because I very rarely see other people in a bit. But I will see you in a bit. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, dude. It's quite a big place though. I'll be down by the beach on the uh, the West Island if you ever find that. See you dude. So after I left that guy up at the train station, I found some uh, reinforcing material after about 30 minutes of searching in that city. And uh, I've laid out everything here that you need. I'm just watching out down here because there are a couple of bandit houses. Well, a couple of hero houses and a bandit house behind them. The hero houses are the green ones. And the bandits are, of course, the uh, they're level one houses. I'm building a hero house, level one. Uh, but as you can see, I've got a great location here and everything ready. Now, this took a considerable amount of time to put together, uh, which is one of the reasons why I've covered up the thing in the top right hand corner because I'm seeing people going, Oh, you got five zombie kills on this time and then you got three on another time well of course I did because I don't always show things in chronological order it just depends what best allows me to create a story when I edit it afterwards well basically you need all the things here and you need to put them into your cement mixer now, this is gonna take me a while um, because there's so many here but after I've done it I will show you exactly what you need of all of these things I just wanted to show you what they actually look like so you know what to pick up that took a while but we are ready now. I've got everything for my foundations in here, which are two bags of cement, two reinforcing materials, 15 rocks, and 25 wood piles. I've shown you how to collect all of those. And now you need to find a spot uh, within 10 meters of the cement mixer and 300 meters from buildings. So you can't build within cities. Uh, it has to be though within those distances. And as I'll show you here, and not within the range of trees, because it builds it in quite a weird location. Like here, I don't think I'll be able to build it because there's a tree. Um, which is going to be a little bit too... Well, I haven't even got it in my inventory at the moment. So you need to get your level 1 hero blueprints. I don't know where to get those yet. Somebody probably tell you in the comments. Um, I obviously got them off that guy and he's got some level 2 ones for me as well. And as you can see, I can't build it there because I'm too close. But I can build it because it's 10 meters from the cement mixer and three and a, further than 300 from cities. So I just right clicked, built it there. And it should... After it's made all these crazy noises... 
pop up some foundations. There we go. Now, I may have built that over my cement mixer. I don't know if it actually destroys the cement mixer. That might have been my mistake there. Um, but it doesn't matter because you don't need the cement mixer anymore. What you have to do is leave this for 24 in-game hours. Now, I think that's 8 hours real time. And you can, uh, if you've got a watch, you can just bring up the watch by pressing O and then tell. But I'm going to wait for that amount of time and then I'm going to build the next part of the foundations. But those eight hours let you collect all the stuff that you need for that, which I'll show you in a second. So I've let my foundation set now for 24 hours in game time, which is eight hours real time. And in that time, and it took me three hours to do this, I've collected what I need, which is four cement, one battery, one code lock, four reinforced materials, 25 rocks, and 35 wood piles. And that literally, because I was doing it on my own completely, took me between three and four hours to do. It's a big thing to do. So you put that in the gear just by standing on it, and finding gear and then you need to find the other bit which says build stage two after you've done that and uh, mine was over here really quite far away from it it took me a while to find it but after you click it you have to put in your pin code I'm not going to show you my pin code here for obvious reasons and also if you find a house in this rough spot then it won't be mine because I'm not going to post this video until it's disappeared because they disappear I think after seven or ten days or something like that uh, so it won't be here so if you find one it won't be mine but this is mine, and I hope it works. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, my own superhero house. I know it looks like a little crappy shed, but it's my house. And it's awesome. And it's a beach view as well. Just think how much the property is going to be worth in, like, two years' time. Honestly. Now, you've got to put in your pin code again here to get in. And I believe only with the level 1 houses you've got to sort of back out of them to close the gates. Because that's the thing of the way they're designed. And they've got some food on. Ooh, some 50s la -de da on the wall. Well, la -de do. That is a conveniently placed poster. Right in front of my bed. But, uh, it's cosy. You can put any gear in here, you can sleep in here. This is so awesome. I could even have a guest stay over. There's a spare bed. So there you have it, my very own hero house, to relax at when the world is not in need of saving. Showing that cool trick there, if you walk forwards, whilst holding down the throw button for a flare, it goes insanely far. But this place is just amazing. But as I'm sure you know, a hero's job is never done. There's more bandits to be killed, more bandits to be saved. And if Jack wasn't cured properly, well, things need to be done about that as well.